So I'm sitting in Italy while the president has fear that the Libyan people are going to seek revenge on him for doing the turncoat thing on his best friend. Uh, and I'm seeing how the people who I, where I come from, with the Sedgwick community and Albany and, and, and Miami where I live with, with, with my, my beautiful lady and the rest, that we are oblivious to what's going on in the world. And we have become, and I, I, I would like to lay this one on you, we have become expendable um, for the most part. We, are, we, we, we live our lives, we, we, our lives are important in our world and we journal. We are, we're, building, we're building up the, this fantastic image of who we, we, we plan to be. And I, I like to say that the people who are running this country could give a, give a shit less. You know, uh, they, they are, there's a small percentage of us who, um, it, according to their statistics and their planning, their 25, 30 year plan, most of us don't have a two month plan, three hour plan. They, they have a 25, 30 year plan that does not include us at all. In any way, at all, any short, shape, form, or fashion. Where if you weren't here, it wouldn't even matter. This is what they're planning, actually, in the real world. And I'm not like trying to put up the, the worst kind of damn or down on the world, but for me, seeing it outside of the outside of the United States, I just had this terrible like feeling in the, in the pit of my stomach that maybe some of us will live and die and never even know that we never matter to them. You know what I mean? And I think it's very important in this time that we regain our sense of how we can make this personal experience that we're having more important to, uh, to each other because they won't, they don't, they don't, they don't value it. They don't value our art. They don't value our, our uh, vision or perspective. You know, uh, they can do without it. They, they have created a vision of the world that's greedy. I mean, um, in the most, I guess that's like, that's like a pleasant way to put what they're doing is greedy. You know, that's, I, I, could, I could find a couple of more expletives that could really, you know, be more befitting of what is actually going on. Greed is at the bottom rung of what they're talking about. This is insidious and evil sometimes. You know what I mean? It, it's evil, actually, with what they feed us. You know what I mean? So I, wanna, I just want to put that out there. That, that to me, is like this. The, the, if you can talk about invisible prison, I see the world as a globe in a cage, in a ball, in a cage. That's how I see the world today. You know, you know. I wish we could break out of this. Cage. How, does that not, not like oppress you? Does that not fuck with your head? Well, you know, at times, at times, but at, at times, but then you know, I have to say that this is why I surround myself with people who are, who have free minds, because in Italy there's a place called Pachipachana. And in Pachipachana, it's what you would call a squat. Oh, yeah. And this squat is, is a squat that, that, that could hold a thousand, a thousand people. Easily, a thousand people. So a thousand people have home, have a home that the government doesn't want to have them to have a home. They've recreated their lives into a better space. They have electricity, they have a community that they can share and depend on one another. They have food, clothing, shelter. They have a boxing gym. They hold concerts there. They have thousands and thousands of people that come from around the world. Uh, they, they, uh, you, you, you understand that this, this, is, this is defeating that whole idea. You know what I mean? It's, it's the social network that really works, that allows us to, to depend on one another. This is the hope. This is where, this is where I don't fall into the, the pit of despair. I'm like, oh no, there's more. There's more here, and uh, you know, I can't say I don't want to think the whole world can, should live in a squat, but to, to, well, for me, it is the idea that we can break outside of their boxes. And these squats are, are not just in China; they're all over, they're all over Europe and all over the world. I just I just came from one in the in the Bronx. It's called the Rebel Diaz Art, Artist Collective. Rebel Diaz. Yeah. Word. Yeah. My dad works right next to them. They're super. That's there you crazy. go. It's a squat. And no, art. Yeah. They took over. They took over the space and used carpenters from from in the local areas. Intercon is an integral part of this particular space. He, he was there when, when it was just a warehouse, and, and when it was look, he, he described it as it looked like it had a, a bomb had been dropped dropped on it. <laughs> Literally, this 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 is what. And but today, if you go to Rebel D S Oscar Collective, it's one of the most beautiful, loving, warmest environments that you're gonna find in the dirty ass Bronx. <laughs> right. When I first went there, I thought it was a 
Right. Yeah. Right. Exactly. It's amazing. That's amazing. That's amazing. And this is my hope. Though. Yeah. Believe it or not, this is my hope against the, you know, I don't know, I have to say this carefully, but this is my hope against the Obama-driven, you know, leadership, soon to be Palin-driven leadership, you know, just bullshit. you know, really, really, but this is the hope, this is what we have, and we can create this world in defense of, uh, of against, against all of that, so, and, I, and that's almost why I'm here, you know, that's why I'm, why I'm still here, why I'm here. Because there is something we can do. There is something we can do. We just have to figure out what we can do. And I, and, and if I can implore you guys, you know, I'm, I can I don't mind. I can be candid with you. I'm 39 years old. You you are. Uh, I probably got 20 years almost here. Um, do it now. Do it now. Don't wait. Don't wait until you feel like you have a job and that and that's and, and that you know your job is at stake. Don't wait until you feel like you're running for mayor and and you can't say certain things because you're caught up, don't wait until you, uh, you know, are caught into a position. Take your sacrifice today. Take your sacrifice today to figure out what we can do for tomorrow because too many people did not. Too many people didn't and don't and didn't care. They didn't give a shit. And now I look up and the people who are my peers are in that invisible prison. Yeah, we are in that invisible prison. And with no way, of don't, they don't even want to get out. Kind of happy. Making a space in there. Making it a living room. Making it, cutting on the cable in the invisible prison. Watching, you know what I'm saying, the world go by. So it's, it's real talk. So. Comfort. That's what I'm There's a comfort. There's this, there's this book. I can't remember. It's something cross. It's about this guy who ends up just marrying his cousin out of convenience. Like it was back in the day. You out of here? 18, yeah, 17. Thank you, man. Thanks for coming Thank out. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you for having me. So back in the 1800s when it was okay to marry like your You said convert? No. Comfort. Comfort. Comfort and convenience. Comfort. Okay. Convenience. I mean, because if you think about it, like all people who are in bad relationships, it's either because they're comfortable or they don't want to try for something better or it's convenient and they don't want to put themselves out there. Convenience. You... You like getting the welfare check. You don't want to have to go out and get a job. Or you know, you like sleeping on the couch all day. That's right. You know, that was me for a bit. Now I'm here. That's good stuff. <laughs> good stuff. I really, so real. I'm, I really, that's that real talk. On the converse of what you're saying, the, com the comfort that would happen, and I want to just use this as an, as an example, uh, is the tea party. I'm going to talk about that because that they, these people were comfortable. These people were comfortable as hell. These were soccer moms. These were people with cushy jobs. These were people who thought Social Security would carry them until they were 90 years old and who now realize that, that the same thing might not happen anymore. And those people who had never any kind of political idea have now said, we have to take the bull by the horn. They would have never gotten up off their couch. They would have never. It was, the, and so their comfort zone has been impeded upon. <coughs> Therefore, and now, like you know, they, they, now they, they they can make champions out of people who, who live that lifestyle. Even though I, I I don't agree with it, I say this is what needs to happen inside these kind of rooms. The comfort level has to be shaken up. We gotta not be so comfortable with where we are with having some weed or going to the club or. You know, relaxing in our own, we, we really have to be shaking up so we feel like that. Because, believe it or not, these people felt like they would never have to move. Live, real talk. These people felt like they never would have to get up. And, and they never had before. For 50 years, they never had to. They never did. And here they are now, out in the streets with their suits on. They take off work, that, you know, from their, from their um, jobs that are making 100000 or so a year to go out and, and rebel rouse and, you know, um, on behalf of their political views. You know, these are people brand new to the game. These are brand new neophytes in, in, the, in political life. And, and if they can do it, we can do it. They can, God damn it, if they can do it, we can do it. And that's real talk. So do it now. You know, do it now. Don't let that be just what we're saying. I mean, what do you think about everybody? Um, you think about what you were saying. Like, I'm thinking about, recently I have been thinking about the different types of resistance. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody has to 